Hello. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's section of reads. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, for the tarot version, I'm using the Ghost Tarot by... I always mess up his name. D-A-V-I-D-E. David? Cossie? Cossie? You can see the spelling. That way if you want to find this deck. There's also the website here on the back which this camera is giving the clear version of that. For the Oracle cards, Magical Spell cards, I love this deck, by Lucy Cavendish, illustrated by Jesse Reich, and down there at the bottom is hayhouse.com if you're interested to check all that out. And last but not least, I use dice too. I use um, a 22-sided dice, substituting 22 for zero for the fool, 14-sided uh, dice for the minor arcana, and a four-sided dice to choose the element that's matching up with the minor arcana. It's from the dice. They're from the dice shop. The website is nathartfun.com. Feel free to check those out if you're interested. That being said, of course, if you'd like a reading from me, shoot me an email. James for astral at gmail.com. This is James the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Um, so let's go ahead and get into your reading. Hello, Scorpio. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Scorpio? You had a couple oracle cards fall out. They're face down when they fell out. Um, the cards just want to come out. This oracle deck really likes you at the moment. So, um, which is fine. Like, it's not a bad thing. But it's like, there's a lot of cards just very attracted to you. Destiny and, like, Isis inspiration to me is, like, uh, spiritual source, spiritual energy, the universe, however you want to view it. But it's definitely like something is coming forward and it feels like when I see these two come together, maybe something is coming forward either a little early or a little better late than never. Depends on your situation, the general reads, of course. But there's something here where it's kind of like, it's better if this happens now. So it could be a little early, could be a little later than expected. Maybe it's just on time, but the ISIS information going in there, I'm kind of getting like it's either a little early or a little late. So it may have, that might be a factor here. Maybe like as you're going through this, you might be kind of feeling like this seems like it's, this seems like it's not in the, the exact timing where it seems like it should have come in, something like that. Um, there's been something, you've been waiting for this moment. And the timing may feel like it's either a little late or a little early. I keep getting that over and over again. So maybe there's more I'm going to need to say. You've been putting a lot of effort into this, but it's been going nowhere. Or it's been seeming like it's been going nowhere. At the very least, it's kind of like I've been putting in X amount of effort and getting a lot less than that back. That could be that too. Oh, there's a hidden card. Ah. And you've been doing your due diligence with helping people get along. And you might have been nicer to people than you actually wanted to be in certain situations. I feel like this is a Scorpio thing. Sometimes Scorpio, Scorpio is very can be very accommodating if you decide it's necessary. Um, I almost feel like, I don't know, I'm a Pisces, I'm not a Scorpio, but I feel like you can kind of see it on Scorpio's face where you kind of, you know, you're kind of treading thin. Like, you know, Scorpio's being nice. Make sure you make sure you honor that. Make sure you respect that because Scorp you're on thin ice with Scorpio. <laughs> I feel like you can tell, but maybe it's because of a Pisces. I don't know. That's kind of like you know, don't push, don't push Scorpio. If you have any sense in your life, don't push them, uh, whoever they are. Now, you've been waiting. You've been waiting, 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 and you kind of might have even thought maybe this isn't for me. Maybe it's just I'm not going to get this. 
It's kind of like wanting that beautiful car or a beautiful house or a certain type of person or a certain type of job. I work for it, I work for it, I work for it. I can get all these other things, but this one thing, it just always eludes me. You may have thought you were blocked from it, but Queen of Cups comes in with the Knight of Wands. Pops in out of nowhere, it feels like. Just pops in out of nowhere. It's just kind of like, I feel like this is kind of Scorpio's jam, though, when things just like, oh, I thought it was down and out, and then poof, there it is. It's almost like, this has happened to me, when I've completely let go, and kind of like, you know what, that's just not going to happen, and there it is. Boom, it's just there. It's kind of like, it's almost like that's what it was waiting for. Once you let go, it's like, well, if you're not, if you don't want it, now you can have it. It's, it's, I'm not saying it's fair. I'm not saying it's right, but I feel like that's how it's happening. Oh, I, I finally give up. I decided it's not for me. Oh, now I can have it. Okay, naturally, of course. Um, I don't think you're upset with that, but I also, I also feel like I'm like, really? Has my ship come in? Are you messing with me? Are you going is this takeaway? Is this where, you know, one of your older siblings says, here, you want it? You want it? Nope. It's like, is it's like, are you teasing me? And you're just going to be like, here, here. Nope. Is this, is that what's going on here? Cause I'm break somebody's fingers if it is. Um, <laughs> I'm telling you now judgment in your favor. And I feel like it is secure. It's coming forward and it's secure. And I'm like, I keep questioning it. I'm like, I need proof. Where did this come from? Who is this person? How did this happen? Where is this from? How do I know this is for real? I feel it, the energy does move kind of quickly in this part because it's like, I need proof that this is real. I need to look a little closer at this. Somebody is trying to show you that this is for real. Um, it's the Nine of Cups. Somebody has an opening. These two together is kind of like, you know, you're, for example, if it was a relationship thing, this would be like a single person who's very open. Like, it's kind of like, I've said this to other people. If it's if it's a good relationship, you're ready and they're ready at the same time. If there's something else, like where they're t attached to somebody or you're attached to somebody, there might be a reason that that's happening. I'm just saying. This one is completely unattached. So it's also like if you're going to go the, jo the job way, that it's like the position you wanted, somebody vacated it, and it's just right there. It's like, here you go. Door's right open. We're looking for somebody like you, Scorpio. You want it? right there legit it's like legit it's on the legit if this reading is hitting it's on the legit and i feel like it makes me also like is it though like but is it okay okay well all right coming forward coming forward that's a different way to say that i feel like it really is going your way and i feel like you got the tower card with the abundance like it's like winning the lottery to you. Whatever this is, it's like, I really didn't think this was gonna go my way. I really didn't think that was gonna happen. I gave up on that. I tried so hard to make that happen. The more I tried, the less I got. So I gave up and now that I give it up, you're gonna give it to me. I feel like it's blowing your socks right off. There they go. Socks right off, gone, down the street. <laughs> They're gone. Um, So they're, they're giving more information here because whatever it is you've wanted for a long time is what I keep getting. There's the history card here. I don't know if I showed it. The seven of pentacles, like it's just been coming and coming and coming, but never arrived. It's kind of like that, that cake that you're baking that just always has, it just never seems to work. Just never seems to fully make the way it's supposed to. It's just always half baked no matter what I'm doing. And it's finally working. So they're saying, be careful to not feel like the stress is just gone. Like all challenges are gone. Kind of like whatever comes after this is nothing compared to what I've had to go through. They're saying don't, it's better to not look at it that way. Because they want you to not only have this, but they want you to be able to keep it with longevity. So they're giving some advice here. Be careful not to think that all the obstacles are just gone or taken care of or not going to show up again, at least not at that previous level. Enjoy what you have. Enjoy what it is. They want you to keep it, but kind of like realize there's something random here at play that sometimes will make sense and sometimes will not make sense. Um, 
something here is just it's all over the place but it has it has its own view it has its own energy it's not bad it's not bad it's temperance temperance is not a bad card but sometimes temperance is one of those cards that kind of like it keeps things moving but sometimes a lot happens for no reason sometimes you could just slow down and kind of stop but they don't want to um very active very beautiful very um prosperous energy but it may not always make sense not even to itself but there's, you can have a lot of good times with this, a lot of good energy, but just realize it's not always gonna make sense. It's not always gonna build to something. Be aware of it. As long as you know that it's not always going somewhere. It's kind of like when people say stuff in a conversation and they say something that's a little off color and you're like, well, what did that mean? And they just maybe were repeating something they heard off the TV and didn't realize they repeated it. You know what I mean? Ironically enough. You, the three of, okay, it's it's the emperor. I know that, but we want this to flourish for you. We want this to flourish. We gotta stay in the reality, reality column. We gotta stay in the reality column. It's good to have fun. It's good to get caught, caught up in the moment every now and then and enjoy it. Just like let things be a great time. That's great, but like. Once or twice a week, I would say we need to kind of we can we need to kind of staple it down and like what's real here, what's real here, and we need to know it's real. Like Scorpio is great with having those little inklings of like this is good or this is bad or just kind of knowing things, but it's kind of like when you have those inklings of knowing things, staple it down. Like I have a feeling that's it's almost like I have a feeling that something's wrong upstairs. Go upstairs and check, find out what it is. You know what I'm saying? I have a feeling that so-and-so needs to talk to me. Instead of waiting for them, just call them and find out. Honor your feelings. Honor your intuition. Don't wait for it to, to prove to you. Prove to yourself that the intuition is on. Does that make sense? I feel like that made sense. Because you can keep this. There's a lot of healing and a lot of victories here, but this energy does not... Whatever it is, be it a job or a person, it will not always make sense. It will not always be building to something. Sometimes it's just random. This energy might have one of these, um, I want to call it a collector energy. I don't know how it's to say it. I'm a Pisces. I feel like we do this sometimes where we take on other people's emotions or thoughts or causes, and then we keep furthering it on even after we don't need to. And then we need to kind of disconnect and stop. Like for example, somebody's cleaning up their house. So then you keep clean, wherever you go, you keep cleaning. And then you're like, and, and you're like, um, okay, Pisces, we're at a store. Why are you doing that? This is not your place. This is not your business. This is not even your job. So like, this is for Scorpio. This reading is definitely for Scorpio, but I'm just using myself as an example. Like the energy you might be working with might, make, might not make sense. They're just caught up in this energy where they clean, 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 clean. Then you go out to the store or this restaurant and they just keep cleaning things. And you're just like, stop, stop, stop cleaning this. This is somebody else's job. This is somebody else's business. Don't just leave it alone. <laughs> it's kind of like saying it doesn't, mean anything it's not building to anything they just may be stuck in a certain mode and it might take them a minute to just come out of it what is this these are two that came out face down too oh um today i'm seeing this harvest card like a cyclical thing because sometimes people read harvest like okay we got to the end and we're done but like for example with wheat i could be wrong i think there's three harvests in a season also with plants a lot of plants you know you go through seasons like summer summer fall you get you know you reap your rewards winter things die off spring you start again and you know the cycle goes around and around and around this is going to have its own cycle of very prosperous and very quiet very prosperous very quiet very prosperous very quiet be aware of the cycle as long as you see it and you make yourself aware of it i feel like you'll be fine because uh, some people, they do that. They go in these cycles where they're very active, very fun, and then they go into very quiet, very secluded, very introverted. Some people have those cycles. I, they're saying, see this, research this, whatever this is, be it a job or a person, research it, find out how they really work so you can be aware of like what's really going on here. Otherwise, there could be some miscommunications or misinterpretations of what's really going on here, which could cause some dents or bruises into the situation that you don't really need. You waited this long for it, it might as well be the best it can be. Are we good? Are we cool? 
I think we're there. All right. I'm going to shut this down here. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.